Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Colony Survival. Okay, now in this episode, you know what? I'm not actually going to be focusing too much on growing the colony in terms of its uh, population or anything like that, but instead, I think this episode is going to be dedicated to making the colony look like it makes a bit more sense. There are a few things that I'm unhappy with, and a couple of suggestions that I've taken from the comments that I'm particularly happy with. For example, we need a proper store for our merchant we need an actual shop i think that's going to be super super important now how much uh, stuff have we got in here uh not terribly large amount of things just yet from the looks of it let me uh, have a look on here we're trying to get some flax seeds some Ooh, yes that's another good big thing i wanted to talk about there's been an update and this is possibly the most awesome of updates doesn't really add stuff functional but it adds pretty things for example we can now get cherry blo uh, blossom saplings and that is marvelous ah you must need to go and drop things off don't you ah well i mean hmm yeah you know what let, let me not be a jerk and give you an actual crate for that sorry I'm, I'm really, really sorry, Merchant. That, that was a massive oversight on my part. There you go. You can have two, in fact. There we are. Don't say I never give you anything. Right, so we've got uh, cherry blossoms that we can make. We can now make different kinds of wood. We can have red planks by mixing berries with planks. So we're dyeing the planks with berries. Or we can have black planks by... Uh, um, rubbing coal on on the planks i suppose um and, uh, there's, there's, there's better ways of doing that personally i mean may, maybe the whole charcoal is just to symbolize you're kind of burning the wood a little bit you're, you're hardening the wood through through fire which is created via the charcoal in your hands uh let's not think about that one too much otherwise it starts to fall apart but there have been a couple of things that have been added um quite a lot of these have been added um in well, I suppose uh, acknowledgement of the fact that there's quite a large um, Japanese um, fan base for the game. In fact, one of the first um, translations for the game was Japanese. And since then, the most watched YouTube video, I believe, for the game is also Japanese. So uh, well done there. Let's uh, get me some arrows so I can do a little bit of zombie slaying. Let's see about that. Ha ha! Haven't lost it completely i'm gonna stop there while i'm ahead because we all know what's gonna happen i'm eventually gonna miss and then i'm gonna be a little bit upset okay so what have we managed to push we have actually purchased some cherry saplings oh that's fantastic marvelous in fact i think we're gonna plant a couple around here now one of the things that has been uh, added in as well um you know what yeah just one but there ah oh, look at that that's be beautiful and it's going to grow into a beautiful tree as well we'll have another one there uh but one of the things that has also been added is now the zombies will attack the flag they will try to get to the flag and once they get there they will attack it now what will happen is whilst they're attacking it previously they would just reach the flag and then they they despawn it did nothing at all but from this point forward whenever they reach the flag they will actually start attacking it and slowly people will start to die just people in the in the um village will just spontaneously just perish as a result of the flag being attacked so with that in mind we actually do need people up here now we need people up here specifically just to guard the flag and i actually am kind of pleased with that i'll be perfectly honest i like the idea of having a couple of extra people uh <clears throat> namely just at the top of here honestly but they're gonna be uh, facing inwards i guess um that seems a little bit dumb but uh, i don't know if if i have them facing outwards whether they would actually attack so i guess we're gonna have a couple of people in here like one there one there I doubt anyone's going to get up here, because if they do, then it's a failure on our parts. But it'll look really good. Trust me, it's going to look grand. But with all of these new blocks, and in fact some that we haven't made yet, I think we've got uh, a pretty good situation going here for us to build up a, a really, really nice area. Now, what I'm thinking of starting with is starting with uh, finishing off this. A little area, as I mentioned previously, I would like to get a little house back here. And I'm thinking uh, maybe I'll have some sort of berry farming garden behind it or or around it, something like that. Um, we'll 
try and actually make it a house though so we'll we'll have a bedroom and it'll be for the people ideally the berry farmers who work out back in their little walled off garden which will be glorious how how are my archers doing are you all doing a good job i can hear an awful lot of zombies dying which i'm very very thankful for we haven't had to add any more people into the graveyard yet um there are a lot of zombies though so uh good luck everyone you're doing a fantastic job so far though uh they are starting to uh gather up around there Thankfully, we've got a bit of a uh, bit of Overwatch going on, which is really good. But if they get up that stairs, it's going to be a bad time for the ones on top. Hmm. Maybe we need a couple more over here as well. I'm just going to drop down a couple of these just so that we uh, have them set up and ready. Um. Well, you're doing an amazing job where you are already, so I'm, I'm hesitant to try and mess with your with your groove. Uh, I'll have another two with there in there. There we go. We've now got many, many, uh, many jobs awaiting um, someone to uh, fulfil them. So perhaps I should drop down and expand out the barracks a little bit more. Still need to fix out that wall, but that's something we can get to. I have fixed the floor in here, so all is well. Also over here all is well. I'm, I'm just, I am, I'm very excited. My mind is, is a race with all of the things that we're going to be able to do with the new blocks. But first, I'm going to expand the barracks out so we actually have the uh, fighters down here that I need. It, please don't tell me that's dirt. Please tell me that that is actually... Is that dirt or... You know what? It's so hard to tell the difference between dirt and logs. And I consider that a failing, honestly. But oh well. I'm going to fix up a barracks quickly, just so that we can get all of those new arch positions fulfilled. And then we're going to get on to building up a little area for berry farmers and also possibly a mill. Whether we get all of these buildings done in this episode or whether we just make a start on some of them, we'll see. But uh, that's the plan. So, see you in a few moments. All right, putting the finishing touches onto this little room here. And as you can see, it's a bit of a bigger room, a bit less bunkhousey, but uh, still there's quite a lot of beds in here. But I think it needs to to stand out from the others. It, in my mind, this, this is a, a bit more of a prestigious area here. I've also got the black planks. Oh, they've started making them. Let's have a look at how this looks. Does that look? Actually, that's a terrible place to try it. Let's try it out here where it's actually easy enough to see. Ooh, that's like a, a rich dark wood. Hmm. I may have to replace the offices area with that. But for now, we're going to have the... Uh, we're, this is like a plaster that we've got here, plaster blocks. And in my mind, these make for, for more awesome nightstands. Let's uh, pop some plants up there. But some of them are just going to have, uh, sorry, uh, some torches, and then some of them will have plants. Uh, I quite like this room. This room is actually quite amazing. If only I had some decorations I could put up, like maybe some sort of uh, tapestry, some great battle, extolling the, uh, the prowess of the warriors of this particular kingdom. That would be marvellous. In here, though, let's actually start off with these uh, dark planks there. Oh, that looks like a much better desk. In fact, you can have a nice, um, you can have a nice uh, hardwood, uh, maybe varnished uh, bedside cabinet as well. And that's for the offices in there. Uh, okay, so we've got an extra eight beds, so it would be time, in my mind, for us to start getting some more archers set up. Hello. Oh, look at the trees. So pretty. I bet the leaves of these trees are equally awesome as well. Unfortunately, these trees in this particular location, I suddenly realize are going to block the sight of my arches up there. Well, damn. Sorry, beautiful trees, but uh, you're going to have to come down. Yep, it's true. It's true. I'm so sorry. Can I get some amazingly beautiful leaves off you, though? Because I would be completely okay with that. I can. We've got cherry blossoms. This is amazing. Must harvest the cherry blossoms. Oh, just think of the uh, think of the hedges we can make. Oh, it's going to be so grand. We can have different kinds of, of decorations. Oh, this is so good. Just by adding a different type of tree, you've given me a bunch more types of blocks that I can put around. Not just actually having the beautiful trees in the gardens, but also now being able to make plants out of cherry blossoms. This is best of days. In fact... Yes, you know what? I'm gonna give one of the elite, uh, the elite warriors, a cherry blossom bonsai. 
That that's in my mind. This is what this block is going to signify down here. One has got just a, a, a regular little little bonsai tree, and the other one has got a little bonsai cherry blossom. Fantastic, amazing. This is glorious. Ah, oh, I am very very happy with this game at the moment. If they keep adding blocks at this way, I'm 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 probably going to have to keep making videos for the foreseeable future. Maybe we'll get to the point where most of my videos are this because I get addicted to making things pretty. I can think of worse things to be addicted to, though, frankly. I, I consider my addiction a, a pretty benign one. Okay, so next up, I'm thinking a little berry uh, gardener. Somewhere around about, yeah, like if we make this a, a fairly large house, then we could have two or three people living in it. And they can be responsible for the berry gardens that would be just outside. Ah, it's going to be glorious. But before we do that, how much food have we got? We're doing okay with food. Let's uh, recruit a couple of colonists. Um, there we go. Go forth, my people, and prepare everything. We've got enough uh, bread coming in, or wheat coming in, that I think we're okay, but... We're getting to the point where we've got lots of wheat, lots of flour, not enough baking happening. So, I'm going to say we need an extra baker as well. Let's get you. You're going to be unemployed for now, but don't worry. For soon, you will be a baker. And uh, we'll get a new oven down here. Let's just pop this in here, there. Uh, right about there. Actually, hmm... Yeah, for the time being, I mean, I do actually want a baker, a bakery, a proper bakery set up somewhere. But for the time being, I could have my uh, my crafters down here, in fact. And I quite like that idea, i got to be honest. Yeah, we'll just have the, our bakers down here so that my warriors can wake up to the delicious, delicious smell of freshly baked bread. I think this is a good idea. Ah, sorry. I'm going to have to move you, though, because otherwise... I'll just, uh, I'll waste my time making an extra oven when I don't want to. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, should I take the grind wheel down there? Uh, no, you can stay there, actually. Grind wheel dude. Uh, Miller would be the appropriate term. Or grind wheel dude. I'm sure he answers to both. Uh, right, let's uh, get the oven down here as well. And then we get got twice the amount of bread production going. That should help with the enormous amount of food that we now consume every day. Because it is quite a lot, actually. I'm a little bit worried. Maybe I should get some more fields. But at the moment, things are okay. All right, so with everything out here... Oh, we're going to be able to use all of the gorgeous new blocks that we've got as well. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand. Why have I got so many cherry saplings, though? What's going on with that? How many cherry saplings did I tell you to buy? Please don't tell me you just keep buying. Uh, I'm fairly certain I told you only about ten. Um, hmm. And yet, here I have seventeen. Oh wait, I would have gotten some from the tree I chopped down. Never mind. Never mind. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're not actually a scallywag. I've decided you are actually probably doing your job correctly. Uh, you're keeping us in wheat seeds. We don't really need that. Dirt, we don't really need. But you know what? I'm going to add this up to 10 and 10, just in case we ever run out. Very unlikely, though. But we should just be accruing gold for a little bit now, because everything else I want you to buy is really silly expensive. Um, however, I'm thinking that when we redesign this house over here, that one's going to have to be redesigned to look like it. So let's go ahead and actually start out with something that we would like to have. So... I'm going to say a step around here. We're going to have the steps move up in this direction and then rise up to planks around. Actually, we'll take it back one more and then we should be good. There we are. And we'll have this go up there a little bit better. There we go. And then at this point is where we'd have some steps leading up. And then from there on, I'm going to say, probably have these fairly frequently. We'll have these these darkwood planks quite frequent along here. If I do that, though, I'm going to make it look a little bit weird because it's the, the wrong kind of uh, shape out there. So I'm going to need to make them three apart so that it uh, doesn't start making my brain hurt. There we go. I'll have something along here. 
And the idea here is that we're going to have another platform. We're going to raise it up on stilts again. But it's not going to be as, um, as large a structure as our main one over there. And we'll raise that little building up on stilts as well uh, eventually. Let's get all of this out. It's going to look grand. We're not going to have um, the, the hardwood supports moving all the way up through the, the flooring as we have previously. Wow, am I really out of planks? Really? Oh my lord, I'm going to need an extra extra workshop, dude. But this will be the platform upon which we will build our house. That one will be raised up as well. And we'll probably have a little arch between the two houses. Just a, just a little alleyway out into the uh, berry area. And I think that will be pretty cool. Um, so this is going to be a fairly large house. In fact, I may just absorb that one. I'm not sure. But we'll bring it down this way. Because we don't want to have this place be too gigantic. So let's uh, just mark out the area. Funnily enough, I seem to recall saying exactly the same thing about the longhouse. Yeah, I don't want to make it too gigantic. Hmm. I think I may have failed that one. But we'll bring this out just a little more. I want this to be a reasonably large house because then I can make it pretty on the inside. There we go. We're going to have to dig right back. I'm going to have to do some terraforming and also some lumbering back here. And we're going to need a large enough area to have some nice berry bushes back here. I think this shouldn't be too difficult, though. So I'll bring you back when I'm done cutting down the forest. Okay, there we go. Got a couple of extra places down here now for our people to occupy. I'm going to actually go and grab the, the miller, though. I'm going to bring the, the miller's workshop down here. And I'm also going to make another mill wheel. Another grind wheel, sorry. And then that will be awesome. And we can have two workshop people up there. It'll be fine. So I need two millers now. And we will place you both down here. Where I will pop that one down there. What do I need for you? I need planks and stone bricks. Well, that's easy enough to do. Let's uh, grab that. And you. And is that... Nope, that's wrong. Come on. There we go. And a second grind wheel. And we'll just pop those there and there. There we are. And now I need two more people because we've now got two workshop um, craftsmen, I suppose. There we go. All right, so that should help convert the wheat that we're bringing in into flour into bread. Nice and fast because right now, yeah, we're not really doing that at the, at the most efficient rate. Okay, so... Onwards with the construction of our little area back here. I managed to cut back a couple of trees. Not the amount that I would like, but the zombies started trying to eat my brains. And as we've already discussed, I don't have enough to spare. This character is not the brainiest of people. And any small impact to the volume of his brains results in almost immediate death. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. By the same token, I don't actually seem to be able to take many, uh, many falls either. Which is a little bit saddening um actually we need to well on second thoughts we don't need to cut that back but what i do need to do is uh bring it out here a little bit further as well so we want to take it out about maybe around about here i think we do we'll have a blackwood uh black plank blackwood uh black plank around there so we take it out a little bit further I don't think we need to, honestly. I think this will be good enough. So we'll dig it back, and we'll also dig back this area over here. In fact, this will actually create a natural border in a way. Um, we're going to be digging all of this area out. I'm unfortunately probably going to have to replace a lot of this grass. But we can just dig this right back and have this as a natural uh, prevention for zombies because they can't drop down this high of, a, of an incline. Or rather, this steep of an incline. Now, that being vertical in this case. There we are. Uh, there we go. And we'll do the same over here. We'll just cut it back a little bit. So, zombies will be naturally channeled a little ways away anyway. But uh, that wasn't strictly a uh, necessity of this build. Useful, but wasn't really what I was aiming for. Uh, I wonder where the nearest bit of water is. Lots of people have been asking for moats. Not something I can easily make without a body of water, but water does propagate, as you might imagine. So if we can find some water to use, then I could tunnel 
from that water all the way down here and allow the uh, the water to just flow into a, a moat that I've prepared. And I'm not against that idea, though not really sure where we would put the moat just yet. But definitely something I wouldn't mind doing. But I'm going to go ahead and finish preparing this land over here and uh, start laying down the foundations for our newest building. And I will bring you back when we get to building. Gotta be honest, the archers are doing a pretty awesome job right now of protecting me while I'm building out here. Zombies keep coming up, and the archers keep shooting them back down. It's fantastic. Teamwork, this is. But as you can see, making a little bit of progress through the night. Uh, decided it wasn't that dangerous for me right now to have to go inside, especially... Oh, well, it would be less dangerous if I had my own arrows out. Uh, no, thank you. Not today. Thank you. Uh, right. Uh, still got a little bit of work to do over there. But yeah, we're definitely getting this uh, this little area set up. Now, with all the different types of planks that we've got, this is why I'm, I'm much more comfortable having this uh, up on a risen platform, because we use different types and colors of, of wooden planks to give the building a little bit more character. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this one with the crenellations made out of the same planks or even crenellations at all made out of wood um, Ooh, those fields are ready for harvest fantastic. Let's head on back in for now though Let's draw the zombies in let them chase me uh, Let's have a look how are we doing for uh, Everything well, we're not doing too bad. We're starting to dig into the wheat now definitely increased our food production mightily which is a massive improvement let's uh, have a look how many people are sleeping in here <laughs> it looks like our bakers are now our offices how interesting and over here uh, we've got one person in here actually sleeping next to the cherry but i don't blame you honestly i would choose that one as my bed as well and we've got a woodsman who's decided that this entire barrack is his very well, I, I, I don't have anything particular to say against it. Again, though, I really would like it if the uh, archers would seek uh, bedrooms. If if they would head uh, inside after a while. Oh, you know what? I wonder if... Can I set them to automatically gather cherry, boss, cherry saplings? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Could I do that? Could I, for example, chop that down? Plant one there. We'll just use one for now and just see how that goes. But it'll be interesting to see if he lets that grow and then harvests it. That would actually be pretty cool. I wonder if you can make a, spe a specific type forester. No, you can't. You don't really seem to be able to do that. But let's watch the uh, forester when it comes along and see if he chops that down. Because if not, then that's glorious and I'm very happy. If so, oh well, it was worth the uh, experiment, I feel. Right, I need to get back to uh, cultivating the terrain. But starting to like this little little house over here. I think a lot of the houses are going to be up on stilts, ultimately, in this kingdom. I don't know why, but I, I just think that that'll be a nice aesthetic to have. That perhaps this culture just like building things on stilts. Who knows Knows why? Maybe, maybe there's this belief that the zombie plague came from something on the ground. Um, perhaps even the first zombies crawled out of the ground. Maybe when the, the zombie uh, plague happened... Uh, the, the the dead rose from graves and so they instilled in the population this this fear of sleeping near the earth and so as a result not only do they build floors but they also rise the entire building up off stilts because then if something does crawl out from underground it can't just like immediately punch through the floorboards wrap its arm around someone who's sleeping and then pull them down into the underworld where they will rise again as another zombie and then try to eat all their family Wow, that got a bit grim there. No wonder they build things on stilts. My goodness. Okay, one thing that's actually quite clear to me is we're not producing enough gold ingots to produce um, gold coins fast enough. So, with that in mind, we're going to actually build ourselves... Uh, or rather, we've already got a new furnace. Let's uh, go ahead and place this down right about there. That should be good. And then we're going to need a an extra colonist as well. Come along. Fantastic. Also going to need a little bit of bread because I hurt myself like a fool. There we go. That's what I get for just jumping down mines. I, I know, I know. Uh, right. How about having a look at this? Can I Can I see? No? No? There we go. Um, for this, I need clay. And just clay. All right. That, that seems quite reasonable, actually. I'm fairly certain this is clay. Let's have a look. Did that produce clay? Yes, it did. And this is gypsum for plaster. 
All right, I think we're gonna need, hmm, what do I prefer? Do I want regular house bricks? Or would I prefer the um, plaster block? I think I prefer plaster blocks for the kind of aesthetic that I'm gonna be going for with this colony. So sure, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a new miner. And have we got plaster around there? No, we don't. So it's gonna have to be here then. There we are, new plaster block, and finally, new colonist as well. I'm going to have to expand this mine out quite a lot. I really don't like the aesthetics of it. it. It doesn't look good enough. I want my miners to be in a nice environment, so I'm going to have to expand that whole area out down there, and I wish there were stack blocks. Oh my goodness. Having to uh, mash space just to get up out of a uh, out, up a stairwell. That is, just, that is just not good. Not good at all, in the slightest little way. Anything would do, anything that would enable us to uh, get up those stairs a little bit faster would be fine. Uh, but with that, we have actually finished the area back here. So the next step is to start building things up a little bit. And I'm not going to use the uh, floor plan down there as a guide. I would actually like to bring this in a little bit. Let's see how much room that would actually give us if I did that. Uh, still a reasonable amount of room, honestly. That being said, I'd, I'd kind of like the uh, area to be a little bit closer in as well. So actually having plaster blocks on inside this. So hmm, how am I going to create that effect? It is going to be a tricky one. If I could have triple thick walls, I could make a really nice effect. But, you know, triple thick walls, that's really wasteful. If nothing else, it's super wasteful. Uh, let's see, have we got any berries yet? We don't actually have any berries yet. That's uh, a little bit little bit shocking, frankly. But let me just have a, well, we haven't got enough plaster really to see the uh, effect that I want. I would really like to um, have the plaster blocks looking a little bit better. Let me go and double check. Oh, it did, it worked. It grew. He let it grow and he chopped it down. Didn't chop it all the way though. Hmm. Possibly the foresters' trees will only grow to a certain length uh, height, and so because that one grew quite tall, because I've never seen a big forester tree, so it it seems to me that the uh, the way that that works is not quite the way I would like it to. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that. Right? How how much do we need here? Gypsum and stone bricks. We should have plenty of stone bricks. We should be making loads of stone bricks. Maybe we're not. Um. Oh, there's loads of stone bricks in there. How much plaster have I said for you to make? Because I would like a lot. 50 at least, yes. We'll see. Uh, archers should be uh, good for now. But uh, the idea with this is if I bring down the gypsum, I can probably make it myself. Let's uh, pop that there. No, go away. There we go. And then I can make a load of plaster blocks. Fantastic. Oh, I can hear a, a, a police siren or an ambulance siren. That's uncommon for there. Uh, there we are. Let's just have a look at how this is going to look. Because if this has the uh, feel that I'm going for, I'm going to be super happy with it. I am aware that people have started modding. Oh, yeah, that does look good, actually. Uh, I'm aware that people have started modding the game. And there are mods available already. Things like windows and doors, and I think that's brilliant. Yeah, I kind of, kind of like this little design that we're going for here. Though, on the inside, it's not going to be quite as awesome, unfortunately. I wonder how it would look if we just did something on the in the same line as the uh, wooden pillars. We'll have to have uh, an investigate of that, because it may look fine as is. Let's bring this out. I mean, it certainly does give a different sort of look. Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel that, that this really does need to be sunk in a little bit. I want these uh, black planks to, to stand out from it just slightly to give the proper effect. Oh, that being said, that being said, that actually is creating a very nice look. At the, at the moment, we can go with two different styles. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to pose this as a question um, for the viewers. We could go with an oriental style, or we could go... So the plaster block at that point would almost... Um, I'm not actually sure um, 
uh, what the correct term is, but uh, for, for the more of the, the sort of the paper thin walls. Or we could go with a more Tudor style for this kingdom. And whichever style we go for is going to be the predominant style of all of the buildings from that point on. So it is a it is a big question. I think I'm going to put this in a poll. I'll put it as a poll so that even people on mobile will be able to easily vote. So the card will pop up somewhere around now or a moment ago. Um, and you can just vote either for Tudor style buildings... So you've got the sort of plaster walls with the, the wooden beams, dark wooden beams creating accents, or more for the oriental style with the with sort of uh, dark, uh, more vertical beams and sort of paper walls, and the plaster block will represent the, the paper in that case. So let me know by uh, clicking on the card that you would most like to see, and I will start guiding the aesthetic of the kingdom in that direction. We're probably fine to continue building for now, though, because uh, our enemies have been slain. It won't matter too much that I don't know the answer to this question in this episode, because I'm just um, laying down the foundations for this building more than anything else. So that's fine for now. But uh, yeah, I'm actually, I, I think we could make something quite nice. And once we, once we have a dedicated theme for this uh, kingdom, we can start moving in that direction. It's going to look super awesome. Uh, let's build this up as well. Oh, come on. There we go. My nerd pole skills have eroded somewhat since the last time I played Minecraft. There we are. And down here as well. Uh, is that? Uh, yeah, that is off. Wow. Okay. Let's uh, fix that one then. Okay. So we would have uh, an entrance somewhere around here, I would say. Um... We could just have it bang smack here, um, which would be fine. And maybe even then a little little ways down at the back. Maybe, uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll have a, a little way down back here as well. So we'll have some planks there. And this will be the, the, the little garden area. Now, hopefully, we can get enough to get those berry seeds that I want, all those berry saplings. Berry seeds, we've got them! <gasps> Fantastic! This is marvellous, because once we've got berries, we've also got the, the, um, what is it? Red planks. You know, red planks are, uh, I mean, I don't almost say cherries. I, I wish the cherry blossom would actually have cherries on it. But, uh, okay, so this is all we need. So this little area out here now needs to be, um, cut off from obvious points of attack. And I'm thinking we'll have something like the wall coming out from here. And going around. We'll make enough room for several little berry areas. Maybe two or three people working out here at all times. Bringing in plenty of food for the colony. And the berries will be direct food. So it's not going to have the, the large industry behind it that my uh, baking does. For, for the bread, from the wheat to bread, etc. It's just going to straight up, yeah, you've got fruit. Well done. You can now eat said fruit. Double well done. Uh, so I guess we'll want the stonework being out here and again we'll bring it out by about five and then have another four let's just count it one two three four five perfect i can count sesame street has not failed me marvelous uh we will continue to build out this fence now i'm not sure how far back i'm going to cut this in order to build that fence especially because this doesn't really lend itself to an easy cutoff point like this one this building has a flat wall from which i can build out a, a brick wall mm. may have created a bit of a rod for my own back by going with a stilted design but we'll see what i can do with that um but for now i just need to create the uh, s uh space for the berry bushes so i'll bring you back when that's done okay the moon is is setting the sun is rising soon all the zombies will just perish let me help you with that actually you know i'll just uh, speed you along to whatever it is that the dead go when they die again uh, there we go, and this is starting to look nice. I might have to fix that if grass doesn't propagate. I'm really not sure if it does at this point. We'll see, though, because right now we have a new area. We want some berry farmers. Fantastic. Um, well, let's see. If we pop this down there, how much room we got there? A uh, little do. Uh, sure, we'll have a little berry farm right there. We'll have a berry farm out here much the same dimensions there we go two lovely little berry farms we can even have some beautiful um 
Uh, cherry tree saplings going here. Let's uh, get those down. I'll have one there. One about there. Oh, this is going to be grand. We'll even have something in here if we really, really wanted to. Or alternatively, I could have a little bit more uh, berry farming going on, I suppose. Uh, sure, we'll have... Oh, we could have a 50 there, or just like a 45. Um, why was I limiting myself before then? I have no idea. But I'm fairly certain that that... Oh, does it only allow 50 in one direction? If so, that's just dumb. But oh well, we're just going to have lots of uh, berry farming going on. Actually, let's remove this one and expand it out. No, bad. There we go. Uh, let's expand that out there. Okay, that should be quite nice. We've got a couple of a couple of uh, berry farms over here now. We do not have enough beds, however. And if I put the bed out here, you are going to die. I That would be me being a massive, massive jerk. Just to get some berry farming going on. So temporarily, we're going to put some extra beds in here. Look, I'm really sorry about this because there's, there's no no way else of doing it. Oh, actually, I suppose I could put one there. You can have one double bed there and one double bed there. And uh, a, a double bed here as well. There you go. That'll be fine. So another double bed. <laughs> there we go. We've got a couple of, of uh, families here. Uh, I suspect one of the farmers is going to want to uh, nab one of those beds for for himself and the archer. Very well. Your lord allows it. In fact, kind of pleased. All right, let's go. Uh, let's get three new people. And there we are. We've got some berry farming going on. Oh, happy days. Now, for the time being, I put a very hodgepodge kind of um, wall down here. Just to try and uh, prevent any uh, zombies from getting in there, but eventually I'm probably going to expand this wall and have it go down around the uh, the side of the uh, the the kingdom for now. And I think that'll, that'll be fine. Ultimately, I need to get plenty of archers up high, so uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm not liking the idea of turning this into a defensive structure. I, I would rather just have a roof on this one, honestly. I, I, think, I think we need somewhere with a roof. Uh, and, and it be a normal building. Though that being said, we could run a wall down here to some sort of mill structure. And the mill is going to be a little bit different. It's going to have a nice, big, beefy um, stone foundation. Similar to the bakery, actually. Yeah, okay. We could, we could definitely pop those down as well. Or at least the beginnings of the paths to them so let's get these into position there we go and i do i do massively apologize if you can hear me slurring my words a bit more uh just had a little bit more dental work done i'm getting so much closer to having my my braces fitted uh i'm i'm not sure if, if i should should how i should feel about getting braces fitted honestly it's it's not something i ever really considered having to have done but uh here we are if i want to if i want a straight smile then i'm gonna have to do it but uh yeah so all of the the work on expanding my upper jaw has has been completed it is now expanded to the correct correct positions and next they just need to move my teeth around a little bit more so uh yeah i'm waiting for for all of that to be done so they had to knock out this weird expander helix thing that they've had in my mouth for ages and they literally knocked it out. They did. They just took a hammer to it, a little tiny hammer, thankfully. But they knocked it off my teeth. My God, that was painful. Oh my goodness, why? This was this was just an inventive form of torture. But that being done, they've now taken impressions, and uh, I'm going to get braces installed. So, in addition to the, any slurring of words I'm doing right now, oh, it's going to get worse. It's going to get so much worse when I'm getting used to having braces in my mouth. Uh, alas, the things we do to have to have uh, a, a nice smile. I suppose, you know, it's, it's not that bad really when you think about it. The, the return is going to be pretty nice. I'm going to be able to have nicer first impressions, which would be, be awesome. But, uh, yeah, a little, little bit apprehensive about that. Mostly in terms of how it's going to affect my job for a while. Because, you know, not being able to talk properly, kind of an issue when you're a YouTuber. It's probably one of the biggest issues, if I'm perfectly honest. Yeah, not not sure where that's going to go. Um, but uh, yeah, so forewarned is forearmed. If you do notice me talking really, really derpily, now you know why. Um, we're going to have wooden stairs here. Ooh, you know what I just realised we can do? We've already got red planks. Oh, that's fantastic. We're turning the berries into red planks. Oh, so good. So very good. 
I, I just don't know if I can take this much awesome. Let's have a look at them. Oh, those are nice. Those are really nice. We can flank them. Or we could flank it with the red. Maybe like that. I mean, this is proper, proper um, varnished wood now. Hmm. Or do I want the black? Ah, oh, this is a problem now. I'm just going to be sat here trying to ponder over what kind of colour to use on everything. Um, or would this look better with the being flanked? Uh, you're going to have to put up with me doing this now a lot, probably. Uh, I think we're going to go with... Yes. Yes, we'll have the black flanked by the uh, regular planks. Again, if you have a, an opinion on the way this looks, uh, and the way it should look, do post a comment down below, and I will take that into consideration. Uh, but the mill is going to be built out like this, I think. Uh, let's do something like that. Doop -doop. Uh, this one is a bit of a special case, because we've also got the front of the mill there. Uh, there we are, the entrance to the, the mill area. And... Sure, we're actually going to have the foundation go out a little bit more. This is going to be a nice little circular area because it's going to be the uh, the base of a windmill, uh, hence the name. Uh, right, but inside, sure, we'll uh, lead out to a 9x9 nine nine of darkwood planks right in the middle. I mean, it's not really going to be a functioning windmill, so... Uh, not a big deal, but I do like the sort of things we're going to be able to do with the floors now. We're going to be able to make the floors look really nice, and this is something that is a big deal to me. Uh, you may well be familiar with my RimWorld series, where I go to great lengths to make the floors look a certain way. Um, and to have nice detailing, because just a flat floor of the same texture, the same colour. Uh, I don't know, sometimes I think I'm, I'm half... I, I don't know. I, th I think you need to have the same considerations for me as you do for a, for an animal in the zoo. You, you, you need to give me a, a, a stimulating environment, otherwise my mind just turns to mischief. It's pretty much what all my teachers used to say. I, I needed things to do, otherwise I just got got naughty. I, I regret the way I was. <laughs> what a scallywag I was. But it's kind of funny most of the time. Ah, zombies. No. This is my punishment, being eaten by zombies. Wow, my people aren't even indoors yet, and the zombies are spawning. That's kind of terrifying, actually. Uh, I no longer have any arrows. That's a bad move on my part. There we go. Thank you for waiting. Um, in return, I will shoot you in the face. Not the best with ward, I suppose. But it's the only one I can really offer you. So take it or leave it, really. There we go. No, don't eat my face. My face is nice where it is. Go. I'm trying to build. My lord. You're persistent. Right, okay. I think I think they've gone for a few moments. Ah, oh, I wasted an arrow. Never mind. We've got enough iron to build several Titanics, so it's not too bad. There we go. That actually looks quite nice. I think we can have some uh, millstones in the middle. In fact, we can have quite a few millstones in the middle. And that would look glorious. Uh, let's finish building up the uh, walls out here, though. There we go. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand. It's going to be the best mill house ever. Um, would it be really called a mill house? I don't think it would, actually. Uh, right, let's get those going. It would just be called a mill, surprisingly. Uh, right there. We don't need to worry too much about those areas because you know no one can no one can climb up on the outside, so that'll be fine. And as usual, we will use some straw to accent this and actually make it look like a, a proper window. Marvellous. And I think, yeah, actually having brick is fine for this. As we go up, though, we will possibly change it to something else, maybe even plaster or wood, honestly, because as we get higher, it makes more sense for the uh, building material to change because the taller the building, the less you really want it all made out of stone for obvious reasons. Right, there we go. So this is this is the beginning of the, of the milling area. We'll have a nice big archway into here. Or should we? Is that a little bit too ostentatious for a mill? Mm, you're probably right. Even though no one actually said anything, you probably are. Um, so do we want this? Uh, in fact, this is actually almost almost like a little shrine at this point. Damn, didn't think of that. Have I unintentionally built a shrine instead of a mill? I mean, simple answer to that is possibly, I guess. Um, especially... 
Oh my lord. Sorry, Mill. I was building this for you. I promise I will build you a better new house. But damn, I just had an awesome idea. Yes, 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 and yes. Someone said they wanted a church. Well, you can have a shrine instead. This is going to be grand. We can't have a priest in the shrine, but this is going to be amazing. It'll be kind of like an open air shrine. Air oh, we'll need bigger windows, though. Yep, and we'll have to change the shape at the top. Oh, this is going to be grand. Unintentional shrines are the best shrines. Everyone knows this. I'm fairly certain it's written in plenty of books. Uh, maybe. Uh, there we go. And at this point, we'll start pulling this in a little bit. There we go. Oh, this is going to be grand. When that when that tree is, is fully grown. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We can have... Oh. Unintentional, again. But awesome. Undeniably, we can have torches on the outside. Because, of course, a shrine needs to be lit up like the sun. Everyone needs to be able to see the shrine from miles around, unless it's a shrine to some sort of god that prefers darkness. In which case, you know, your mileage may vary. Um, but there we go. So we've got uh, some lights on the outside. Oh, this is brilliant. I want this the, the walls to kind of overhang a little bit, though, around here. So maybe we build this in just a tad. Like that. On all of the sides. Something like this, so that we're... Slowly coming back in towards the uh, the tree in the middle. Um, this side actually doesn't need it, strictly speaking. Um, hmm. Not sure how to best deal with that one. I mean, that's effectively the shape that we've already got there. Ooh, maybe that's telling me that this needs to be even taller. Um, sure, actually, okay. We can go... Well, no, we really can't. I, I, need, I need that to be much further back. Damn. All right, well, let's adjust this then. There we go. And that should work. Uh, I'm going to need to get back up there, unfortunately. Oh, I really like it when just builds happen by themselves. Out of nowhere. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The literal definition of perfect. The shrine is wonderful. There we are. We can have some more torches up on top. Absolutely without function in any way, but easily one of the nicest parts of our kingdom right now. Oh, this is wonderful. I hope that that uh, sapling grows up nice and tall. I may need to adjust it slightly, though, because it might have some sort of rules about growing in proximity to other tall structures nearby. If so, we'll sort that out when we come to it, I think. Um, yeah, okay. Ouch. There we go. Um, maybe... Uh, we don't want to overdo the torches, though. Because after the point, it gets a little bit obnoxious. For example, I actually think that the torches we, we stuck out on the, the sides... Yeah, obnoxious. Let's get rid of those. Damn it. I've built you too well. No zombie nor I can scale this wall when, when it's uh, complete. There we go. I might change some of the uh, top stonework. We'll see. Might use some different stones. But for now, what a beautiful little shrine. Oh, I love the sunken windows. Damn, that, that's an effect that I've seen several times in castles. I am going to need to replicate this effect in all of our stone structures from this point on. The windows need to be sunk in and actually have a little sill. If we had benches, there would totally be benches here. Maidens could stare out through the windows. And also knights, thinking about the other knights. Forbidden love. It's the best sort of love ever. I've already covered this. Covered it many, many times. Well, at least once, actually. Tragic love is the best love anyway. I'm sorry for all those people who like happy endings, but the sad ones stay with you longer. But on that, again, beautiful note. At least in my twisted mind, we're going to be ending this episode. So we've built an unintentional shrine on the outskirts of the, of the village. Marvellous. We've also got the cherry blossoms. They've already, uh, they're have already blossoming right now. It's beautiful. We've got the little cherry area. We've got farmers out there growing the, the berries. Sorry, not cherry area. Berries. 
Oh, this is grand. But do remember, let me know what kind of uh, building aesthetic you'd like in the future for the village. Because ultimately, I want this to be a village. I want, like, in the morning and in the in the evening, just to see people walking back to their, their various houses. I don't want just what, massive bunk houses. Currently, we've got the barracks down here because it's super convenient for me to, to get the sort of um, population that I need. But later on, this is going to just be primarily for our for our warriors. The barracks will be expanded when I want more archers. If I want more bakers, then I'll build another bakery with houses in it. The whole thing with the, the 75 blocks away from the flag does kind of hinder that a little bit, but I'm sure we can make it work. Damn it, I will find a way to make it work, because this is going to be a beautiful village eventually. But with that, I'm going to wrap things up here. I do hope you enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. Do remember to let me know what kind of building aesthetic you want me to go for, and I'll see you, hopefully, in the next episode. But until then, and as always, take care, everyone.